a new Costco, JoJo's Shake Bar, and Love Sack are just some of the new businesses coming to Naperville this year. Christine Jeffries, the president of the Naperville Development Partnership, said non-essential businesses were actually able to save on overhead costs this last year, and thanks to relief funds provided from the government, very few businesses in Naperville closed due to the pandemic. Everybody stepped up to really support all of our different industries so that when they reopened, I think they reopened with some vigor. And if you walk through downtown or you go into any of the, the shopping centers where we're standing out here now in front of the H Mart grocery store, um, business has been tremendous all through COVID and it's even picked up now. Part of that uptick is thanks to the city of Naperville redeveloping underutilized areas. Take the East Ogden Corridor, for example. About eight years ago, the city made a strong investment in the infrastructure of that area. According to Jeffries, simple yet effective strategies like undergrounding some of the electrical lines, planting more trees, and reworking traffic lights has made the East Ogden Corridor a more attractive area for businesses. Costco is planning to open up its second location in Naperville later this summer and will generate more sales tax revenue than the entire downtown area, according to Mayor Steve Cherico. Jeffries also hinted at another big name store that may be the anchor tenant for the former Fair Ford Oaks dealership on the northwest corner of East Ogden Avenue and North Naper Boulevard. That's now going to be a uh, new grocery store. And uh, as I say, the facade bears a remarkable resemblance to the Amazon Fresh store on 59 and additional retail. Downtown Naperville is also seeing new businesses flock into the area. 16 businesses, including Starbucks Reserve, Air Aerial Fitness, Vasili's Mediterranean, Warby Parker, Heisman's, Top Fashion, Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream, James & Sons Fine Jewelers, and more have or will open later this year. Naperville has been very resilient, I think, through the pandemic and beyond, and I think that just speaks to um, Gosh, the many benefits of being in Naperville and kind of the spokes on the wheel we always talk about from the Riverwalk to our great park district, our great schools, um, many reasons why businesses and residents want to choose Naperville. There are some vacancies in the downtown area, but those won't last long, according to Wood. Though the world is moving towards a more digital one, some online businesses are making the switch from clicks to bricks. Even though a lot more people are shopping online, a lot of these digital companies are seeing we need to have a footprint in some of these downtown districts and retail districts so people get to touch and feel and see our product. So that's what we're starting to see. To learn more about new businesses coming to town, you can visit DNA's and the Naperville Development Partnerships websites. For Naperville News 17, I'm Christian Kennesaw.